excited about the Cape Air Flame Challenge. That is my type of sports day, where you have to make something definitely. I'm up for this. Right, so I've got my equipment ready, totally ready for this. I've got some plain A4 paper, a pen, just in case I want to decorate, my tape measure to measure how far I'm going to throw my paper aeroplane, and some coloured tape here, which I'm going to mark as my start line, although you can create your start line however you want. Right, going to start making nice, sharp creases. That's what I recommend. Now, if you're not sure how to make one, I suggest you look up different ways of making paper aeroplanes on Google. There's lots and lots and lots of different ways. Now this is my favourite way. I won't give away all my tricks, but this is my favourite way. So notice those nice sharp edges. That is what's going to make it aerodynamic. That's what's going to make it fly. Okay, so a white piece of paper is not exactly that exciting. You can obviously use a coloured piece of paper or you can decorate one, but too much decoration and it might weigh it down so just be careful about that okay i've got my wings i feel like i need a little bit of decoration because it's a bit boring what do you think guys silver 500 that's what i'm going for okay so now i'm going to give you some top tips i'm thinking if you make a few different prototypes you can practice throwing them so definitely practice throwing and maybe get, make some different kinds of planes and see which ones go further now in terms of how you hold it and where you throw it, this is really important. Hold it in the middle, that will get you a nice balance for your plane and think about your body shape. Now when you throw a javelin, you want to stand side on because you've got this movement in your arm. If you're standing face on, you're not going to get much movement. So stand to the side, hold it nice and high and try and aim it up. Okay, practice a few times. That is what's most important. Are we ready, guys? Okay, guys, so I'm so ready. I have marked out my starting line with green tape. I've got my winning paper aeroplane. I'm going to throw it as far as I possibly can. Are you ready? Now, hopefully it's not too windy. Perfect weather right now. Oh, look at that. Landed straight in the grass. My tip's a little bit muddy. It was that sharp, it went straight into the grass. Let's try again. So I'm at my starting line. Oh, look at that, even five throws. Five throws only, don't be cheating. So you can make adjustments to your plane as you go, should you wish to. I'm pretty happy with mine, but I know that my tip is a little bit ruined from the grass. Okay guys, so to finish off, I have recorded all of my scores. Now I did need a little bit of help to try and measure them accurately. So you might want to ask your friend or your parents or guardian to maybe help you out to measure them. So we've got my five throws. You'll notice they're all very similar, but that last one, that is my winner. So 730 centimetres, that's 7.3 metres. That is what I am sending in on Twitter to the PE department so that I can try and get some scores for my house. Good luck, guys.